Welcome to step three of your 3D printer calibration using the Teaching Tech website and the step-by-step -step process. So now we've checked our 3D printer, we've done the PID auto-tune to the hot end as well as to the bed. So now let's go ahead and check that bed leveling. We're going to use the first layer G-code generator to help us really dial in that bed leveling. So what we're going to do is we're going to just do this manually. We don't have auto bed leveling compensation, at least on the Ender 3 V2 stock. You can get a BL touch, and at some point I'll make a video on that and put that on my Ender 3 V2, but right now we don't, so we need to do it manually. And so we're going to generate this G code that puts these five squares, so one in each corner as well as one in the middle. And we've got a 220 by 220 build plate on the Ender 3 V2. I'm printing with PLA, so I'm going to do 200 degrees Celsius on the hot end, 60 degrees on the bed. This is ABL auto bed leveling. We don't have it, so we're just going to put no ABL. Retraction distance of 5 millimeters. That's okay. We'll dial all that stuff in later. Okay. And we'll get to interpreting the results later on, but I do want to just look at it quickly. These are great graphics to show you how to really dial in your hot end and your bed leveling. So if we're too far away, we're going to have gaps and the filament's not going to bond to itself too close. And we're going to have these ridges or waves that you can rub your finger across and really feel the texture of it. And if it's just right, it's going to be a nice, smooth, connected square. Okay. We've got a picture of what this is going to look like. Now, when I just leveled mine, I think I may be a little close to just right. So we're going to see for sure. I'm going to go ahead and click Download G-Code. Calibration prints. And I'm going to overwrite this first layer. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put this in an SD card, put it on our printer. If we want to go ahead and preview what it looks like, let's go to Simplify 3D. You can also look in Cura, but Simplify 3D has got a better G-Code viewer. And what we can do is preview the G-Code file. First layer, and bam. That's exactly what it's going to do. It's just going to do one layer. It's going to go ahead and prime each square, and then it's going to come back and extrude each square. So that's it. So now let's go ahead and put this in an SD card and hop over to the printer. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go up to print and we're going to hit first layer. And it's going to preheat the build plate and then it's going to preheat the extruder. So we'll wait for it to do that and then we'll check out the first layer print. So now we've come up to temperature. And what we're doing is we just homed, so we ran a G28 command home the X, Y, and Z axis. And it's going to go ahead and put a skirt around. And this is to go ahead and prime the pump, so to speak. too close it was a little bit too close so we're definitely too close on this left corner if I rub my finger across it I can literally feel the ridges same thing on this right corner in the middle we've got ridges now the top right's not that bad but we still have a little bit of ridges here and we definitely have some ridges in the top left so overall my build plate is a little bit like that to over exaggerate it and so the other thing you can tell is when you peel these squares off 
you see how that did come off as a nice square. So that is one thing. When you're too close, it'll still come off as a square. The other thing you can tell is we've got a little bit of stringing, so that retraction setting of 0.5 millimeters isn't ideal for this printer. But we'll get to calibrating that later. So I'm going to peel the rest of these off, relevel the build plate, and then we'll print this again. Once again, I've homed it, I've preheated it, I'm going to disable my steppers, and I'm going to go through and I'm going to relevel, and I'm going to lower the build plate in all four corners, but a little bit more so in my front two corners and my back left corner. So we'll go ahead and fast forward through this, but you'll see the process. Now that we have re-leveled our build plate, we've gone ahead and dropped it down so that way we aren't too close. We're going to go back, and the nice thing is we don't have to regenerate the G-code. We're just going to go back to print, first layer. And you're going to do this as until you get that Goldilocks perfect square in each corner. So this is just an iterative process over and over again. If you're too close, you need to drop your build plate. If you're too far away, you need to get the build plate closer to the nozzle. And so you just keep going through this until you get your build plate level.